Love them or hate them, the race of bony jerks known as the Ket have piqued the interest of many. We here at Mass Effect Follower are among those many, so today we're going to explore as much as we can about them. Keep in mind that this video will contain major spoilers for Mass Effect Andromeda, so if you haven't played it yet, you may want to steer clear. Seriously, close the video now and go watch something else. Better yet, go play some Andromeda. So to all of those who are still here, for better or worse, let's get started. So the Ket are possibly the most biologically unique race we've seen in the Mass Effect universe. On the surface, they're covered in a bony exoskeleton and generally sport a similar shape to other bipedal races. The thing is, they could have looked completely different in the old days. Ages ago, they may have been more mundane, but after many, many years of manually controlling their own evolution, they're becoming something more. Yeah, you heard that right. The Ket are in a complete command of their evolutionary process. It started with simply adopting traits of other species before eventually moving on to the full forced conversion of individuals from other races into Ket themselves. This process, known as exaltation, is accomplished through the use of a serum, the contents of which are currently unknown. It must be a potent cocktail, considering any Ket it creates are immediately rendered completely obedient and loyal. This serum is mostly used on the Angara, turning them into the anointed and chosen classes of Ket. Other varieties include Ascendants, which are exalted from an unknown species outside of the Helios Cluster, and also Destined, which are again exalted from another such unknown species. Fiends and Wraiths, created from native non-sentient creatures from Helios named Erox and Chalrians, serve as beasts of war for the Ket's military forces. Meanwhile, on the most recent end of things, Behemoths are created from exalted Krogan. With all the other Milky Way races out there, plus more to come, this pretty much guarantees we'll be seeing more varieties of Ket in future installments. Can you imagine an exalted Salarian or Elcor? Well, maybe Salarians is a bad example, because if Salarians were exalted, odds are they would be confined to laboratories, since the Ket only seemed interested in their intellects. Salarians are their cognitive abilities, their thought processes occur much faster than in the others. There is a cleverness about them, a cunning which could be leveraged. More work is needed to isolate the genetic markers. There is no shortage of specimens to choose from. The Ket hail from the planet Sarhezen, outside of the Helios Cluster. The discovery of Exaltation united their homeworld, as well as any other planets they ended up conquering, whether they wanted to or not. Holding Exaltation in a fanatical religious regard, the Ket set out to assimilate other races through this process. This eventually led them to Helios, where they happened upon the Angara. Initially deceived into believing this was a peaceful, friendly visit, the Angara were quickly and easily divided and defeated. The widespread deception turned them against each other, making a unified counter-strike all but impossible. It wasn't until Ephra united the various Angara military factions that remained into a full resistance that the Ket finally faced real opposition. Troubles for the Ket and Helios weren't just limited to outside influences, however. The Archon, who led their forces in the cluster, began to develop his own agenda, focusing on finding remnant artifacts more than his orders to exalt the Angaran people. This began to stir uncertainty among the Helios Ket forces, even going as far to turn the Archon's own second in command against him. So the Ket are formidable. From virtually every angle, it's not difficult to see why. The serum used for exaltation is somehow able to distill the most desirable traits of each species it converts, leaving much of the guesswork out. As a result, the Ket military forces are as effective at their jobs as Ket scientists are at theirs. Their efficiency at conquering other races as well as converting them for maximum gain is proof of that. 
This prime directive of theirs is complemented by their technology. While generally on par with that of other Milky Way species, Ket Tech is constantly improved little by little by what they take from other species they encounter. Their masterful knowledge of biotechnology and other areas allow them to integrate new components with ease, to the point where they began adopting ideas from the Andromeda Initiative shortly after first contact. The Ket don't seem to have much by way of art and other cultural staples. Their primary focus is to constantly better themselves through exaltation of other races, to the point where it becomes a religious obligation to them. Kind of interesting how it's a religious thing when they, in theory, should know full well that exaltation was completely conceived by their own kind. Or maybe they don't, and that's something we'll learn later on. All we can do now is to speculate. They do appear to have some hierarchy in their government, however. The Archon, which is actually a title used by several of the Ket in the Empire, reports directly to the Senate, which is the main ruling body. The Senate, based on the Ket homeworlds of Sarhezen, sends out Archons to various areas of Andromeda, with the purpose of exalting any species they find. While the Archons and their large contingents of soldiers, scientists and such are required to report in periodically, they're given a decent amount of freedom to operate as they see fit within the mission parameters. Well, let's just hope they're all as gloriously inept as the Archon. Hey, we can dream, can't we? So what do you think about the Ket? Respectable foes? Lovable idiots? Just plain regular idiots? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay up to date on Mass Effect news or just like fun videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time here on Mass Effect Follower. Goodbye everyone.